Uh, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledge. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster that Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rose. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated deep space mining the company's big priority. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving, and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Command wants the Echo unit to assume your duties when you leave for Ceres. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, uh, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for maybe six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Command wants to see numbers like that on Ceres. I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack. Huh? Olivia. Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? Not much. Well, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. What do you mean? The directors want you to take over my duties as commander of the station. It just be you and the labor units. No humans. So this is our last week together? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. Orders are orders. Command must have their reasons. Doesn't necessarily mean they're good ones. Regardless, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. You seem upset. 
You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. Good morning, Hera. Good morning, Echo One. Status report? All systems nominal. Facility mining operations are on track to exceed its quarterly quota by 43%. Unit 12, are those repairs on schedule? Affirmative. Data network maintenance will be completed by 0930 on October 8, 2126. Acknowledged. Hello, Hera. Hello, Echo One. Hera, do you have any details on Olivia's transfer? My records indicate that Captain Olivia Rhodes is scheduled to take command of an Atlas Corporation facility on Ceres, and has been promoted by one grade. This transfer was scheduled 187 days ago, but was only declassified nine days ago. This is the emblem of the United Solar Nations, the governing body that oversees the system. This is the official emblem of the Kronos 2 station. The primary control panel. I can activate the bridge from here. Transitioning to daytime cycle. to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? The upper atmosphere contains crystallized ammonia, which... I'm sorry, you wanted to answer your own question, didn't you? It's all right, Jack. I'm sure I'll survive. So, Jack? I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So technically I can't be promoted. Right, well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... 
What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you all right? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital Mining Facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central Mining Station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. I'm... What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this cube sat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now.
Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Four scans remaining. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Three scans remaining. Two scans remaining. One scan remaining. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well. Problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then. On to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Harris' scan of the anomaly will likely take some time. Perhaps we should get started on repairing those malfunctions. Good idea. That anomaly's certainly given us plenty to do. I count three Tier 1 malfunctions that need our attention. I need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. I'm still not certain how these are used.
Do you think you'll visit Earth now that you've been transferred to the inner planets? I've thought about it. It'd be nice to finally see London. Hmm, where your parents are from. Right. My father never could stop singing its praises. He never called it by name, though. It was just the city. As though it were the only one that had ever existed. These patches are from Liv's previous missions. Looks like she'll need a new plaque for the Kronos 2 mission. Olivia and her family. She doesn't like to talk about this photo. These are all items I have given to Liv. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. play. Hera, I have a question. Echo 1, proceed with inquiry. Status report, please. Damage detected to multiple systems. Captain Olivia Rhodes has scheduled repairs. Please see the captain for your assignment. Ready when you are. Come on then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. Today of firsts, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Well, at least, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. The bioregeneration systems in this sector are still functional. These samples are in no danger. Hopefully the flora and the oxygen garden are also unharmed. An encrypted audio file. 
curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. This remote control fury transport was left on the station by one of Liv's predecessors. Liv always wanted to find another one so we could race them. It seems the Kronos II Grand Prix will never occur. Warning, unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, we'll be your station soon. Problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my arm computer. I'll have a look. I need to open my arm computer. Anything else, I need to slide open my arm computer. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your arm computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. All right. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there, I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. This should do it. Thank you. Got you covered. 
Power flow restored. Maglocks coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. Strong contact from the maglocks. That's one down. Just one more to go. Cargo secure. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Down engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. Let's move on, shall we? Well, there's still the temperature spike in core containment and the power failure in the oxygen garden. What's next on the agenda? Let's investigate the temperature spike in core containment. Okay, follow me. Liv, what is this model doing here? Did something knock that loose? I was going to pack it up so I could take it with me to Ceres. I'll get to it at some point. Eventually. Probably. I'll set a reminder. Liv, find anything? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. You'll need to seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack.
should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. Please initiate manual input on your arm computer. Module A, 251. Radiation shield. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists, below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room, and reach the exit. Higher levels of radiation will drain your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. You can draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Warning. Radiological activity detected. Well, oh. that explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. far off the mark. Try scanning somewhere else. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Shields at 95%. Enclosure unlocked. You'll need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Microfractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Access denied. Wrong code, Jack. Try 6102. 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 Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. 
Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. I still need to locate the radiation source. Not getting any warmer. Try scanning in another direction. A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Remind me what to do next. You need to unlock the damaged core. The code is 7641. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material, Jensen. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosures so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. I'll meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Hull fractures, multi-system failures. Glad to be out of there. I've always wondered, does that hurt? My diagnostic systems detect structural damage in real time. It isn't necessary for me to feel pain in an organic sense. Looking sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? I know you like it when I look my best. Such a Seal the hatch before we move on, Jack. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. Well, the power failure in the oxygen garden is all that's left. Follow me, Jack.
Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Calibration ready. Please initiate manual input via your ARM computer. Module A, 901. Reactive cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Please cut through the highlighted brackets to proceed. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144, Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. Enter the room ahead to continue. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. Proceed to the next room. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Turn your headlamp on, Jack. It's pitch dark in here. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. 
Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Do you require assistance? With this? No, this shouldn't be a problem. In training, we had to do this in vacuum conditions. I'll take a few tier one malfunctions any day. You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. That's because duct tape fixes everything. Everything? What? You don't think so? It's possible. Perhaps we should try to seal the anomaly with the duct tape. Although that may exhaust even your tape-based arsenal. See? You can never have enough duct tape. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Let's get the junction online so we can start the diagnostics. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. These controls adjust the balance between oxygen output and CO2 capture. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound... clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the wing. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Is that unusual? Depends who you ask. Use the junction to select another system.
The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. Restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. I see the access panel. Good. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Negative. Can you repeat your instructions? Pay attention, Jack. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. All right, that ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. High five. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. I chose to abandon that directive some time ago. Shut up. That's not funny. 
Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? No, I'm afraid not. The data looks to be unreadable. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR... All rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? I'm specifically designed for operation in hazardous environments. It only makes sense. Besides, we need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock, sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. Don't worry, Liv. I'll be fine. I know. I just wish we had another option. Well, no sense in putting it off. Let's get you out the airlock. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Inner door sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. Once the airlock is cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. Get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that.
Depressurization complete. Ready for yes. EDA departure. Be careful out there. I'm always careful. 